Earlier in clip one, I showed how to go in and create the footnotes. I'm going to continue on where it says to move a footnote. So just assuming that we put our insertion point at the wrong spot when we originally told it where we wanted a footnote, I can click there and actually uh, select just that superscript number and go control X to cut that and then go control E and D. I'm going to position myself at the end of the document because that's where it said to move it. So I'm right after the period and I'm going to go control V. And that actually will move that footnote now to the end of the document. Another thing that it says to do is to convert footnotes to endnotes. Uh, the footnotes, if I scroll through them, they appear at the bottom of every page where the footnote source has actually occurred. So we have one on page one, one on two, and one on three. So we could have um, them in a different order, but that's just where the sources were indicated. I'm going to go control home uh, again just to kind of get us at the top. If we want to now convert footnotes to endnotes, we can go to the reference tab. We can go to the footnote launch button and choose convert footnotes to endnotes and close. If I go control end, all of a sudden now the footnotes are no longer on the individual pages where the source was quoted, but they are all at the end, hence the term endnotes. As we are doing this now, I want my um, endnotes to be on a new page. So I'm going to go control enter to make a new page. And I want my title to be two inches down from the top. Well, I'm approximately one inch down now. I'm going to go control one to get into single space and enter until I'm about two inches down. So I'm just hitting my enter key a number of times, looking down at my status, and it says I'm at 1.9, and that's, that's good. I'm going to go control B for bold and control E to center, and in all caps type endnotes. Okay. Another thing we want to do is to remove um, the separator line and also change the small Roman numerals to Arabic, which is the one, two, three that we are used to doing. If I go back to the footnotes launch, click on endnotes, and go to number format and choose one, two, three, which is Arabic, and say apply. Watch what happens and see how the, uh, the Roman numerals became Arabic. And last, to get rid of this separator line, you need to go to draft mode, you need to go to show notes, and then in your EndNote pane, click down at the bottom and choose EndNote separator. We're going to point at it and select it with the mouse, hit the delete key, click over here on the X to close the EndNote pane, and then last go back to print layout view and you'll see that your EndNotes are on a separate page now, the separator line is gone, and they are exactly what you want. And I'm going to stop this video.